MiG-23 ML appeared. It was light, equipped with a more powerful engine capable of sustaining critical for the variable swept wing aircraft 8.5 GLO. Pilots experienced the same GLOs. Partially, the load was reduced by a special pressurized suit. But even then, the G-load was close to the utmost level of human endurance. Therefore, pilots needed to have a relevant physical form. Only the best were selected for the team aerobatic demo flights. Although in those years, such flights were not meant for any wide public demonstration. Aerobatic teams Striji and the Russian Knights will become known all over the world later on. Probably the most important feature of the MiG-23 ML fighter was its radar capable of seeing targets against the ground. The requirement stated at the initial stage of the MiG-23 development was fulfilled. The aircraft's improvement continued. MiG-23 MLD became the top version of the family. MiG-23 Evolution is a typical example how combat qualities were influenced by numerous other factors. And if before many of them could be victimized for the sake of speed, now it was already a deliberate and well-thought development in every direction. Aircraft were becoming more complicated, expensive, but more efficient. Any technical novelty was immediately put into action. All was aimed at making everything at least a little bit better than with the enemy. Such was the Soviet fighter of the third generation.